Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and in this video I'll be talking about arrays. <coughs> As you have seen in previous videos that we can create variables of certain data type and we can store some value in it like that. For example, a variable called back of integer type stores a value of 23. Now, <coughs> The concept of arrays is, is that we can store uh, more than one values in a single um, variable um, by making an array of that variable. For example, Uh, let me make an array and we'll tell you uh, what uh, it does. <coughs> For example, here you have one variable and it can hold only one value of integer type. But here you have created an array of integer type and uh, that can have more than one elements uh, in it. So the simple definition is that you can store more than one elements in the same variable by making an array of that variable, right? Arrays are used everywhere. For example, if um, we wanted to uh, know about the high, low, open and close value of this uh, particular candle, um, we can know it by just writing open zero and that will give us the opening price of the most recent candle close zero that will Um, give us the close price of the candle and high zero the highest price of the candle and the low zero the lowest price of the candle so this is also a type of array which are already defined in the mql4 programming language that you can access assess any candles open close high or low value by placing the uh, number of the candle inside uh, in in these uh, square brackets for example, if we wanted to know the open and close price and high and low price of this candle, we will write like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We will write 6 in the square brackets and it will uh, return us the value of that particular candle which I have just shown you. So arrays are very um, important and they are of um, uh, they are very important. Uh, so let me tell you about another um, let me create another array of type double which will hold the real values. For example, I wanted to uh, store the values of uh, 
moving average um, 25 we are not actually going to um, um, <coughs> extract the values of the moving average but we are just uh, for only demonstrating purposes uh, like we can also create um, double type um, arrays so we can store values um, in a double type array like this uh, like 1.34 1.6745 and so on 10 values in this um, array like that and don't forget to put a semicolon in the end so <coughs> now we knew that we can actually um, make variables which can hold more than one values previously we have created a simple var variable and it was holding only one value but now we can create a variable which can contain more than one values and we can write it like that and you can go and write 12 values inside them and how can we access these values if we want to access this value that is 4 and let's write something different like 3 4 5 this value we wanted to access we will write the variable name and inside we will count 0 1 2 3 and that index of the value we will write that here and that's how we can access that value so if we will um, if we will alert this um, this particular um, element it will return us um, the value 345 because um, Um, because this value was there at the index uh, number 3 so 0 1 2 3 that's how we access values um, from arrays so this is all um, about this lecture um, we'll see more about arrays in next lectures thank you for watching